to my YouTube channel Elliot Fair Principal. I'm your host Shaheen. A lot has happened in last two three days so we are going to discuss uh, in today's video we are going to discuss uh, crude oil which is the first thing we're going to discuss after that we'll discuss gold and after that we'll discuss the US stock market that includes Nasdaq, Dow Jones, S&P 500 and after that we'll discuss Forex pairs. Uh, where is Forex? And after that we'll discuss all these Forex pairs one by one and uh, let's see how it goes let's start from crude oil okay the first thing first of all um, I hope that some of you guys were able to take benefit from the call that I made yesterday uh, market has fallen sharply and not only it has fallen sharply it has given us uh, it has gone beyond the horizontal support which was right over here so it has uh, also dropped below the uh, trend line over here giving us an indication that we have created a top right over here let me zoom out a little so you guys can actually see the um, the long-term analysis that we are going in right now. So I'm expecting a larger uh, move downward, most probably, most probably it's words in that area. And if you are looking for fundamental analysis, a lot of people are probably going to realize that no, the uh, stock market is not coming back and the pullback that we saw was just a correction. And we already seen the stock market drop quite a bit in last week and a half. Uh, so that is probably the fundamental reason a lot of people are going to short crude oil, crude oil if you're looking for a fundamental reason. And uh, because we are expecting a slowdown in the economy, that will mean that it should push the prices of crude oil further down. Our technical analysis is also telling us in fact. So here is the labeling in front of you guys. I have considering this phase wave 1 and 2, wave 3 and 4, and we are expecting that wave 5 uh, the red symbol wave 5 is going to take quite a bit of time uh, we have already com completed wave 1 and 2 right over here so I'm expecting now this is important thing to understand I'm expecting at least uh, another uh, two weeks at least another two weeks from today so we have let me have a look actually so we have Tuesday today and I'm expecting that this will be one week and then let's go down a bit will be two week and 14th is important number in uh, GAN analysis so I'm expecting it to make a bottom around 14th of September or 15th of September so bottom is expected in crude oil and I'm expecting this is an important thing the larger swing is downward I normally try to stand away from uh, stay away from the uh, the intraday labeling and I try my best to give you guys a long-term analysis this is what I'm trying to do with the with crude oil we're expecting a larger drop downwards. We have been waiting for this for a while. Uh, we have seen that we have dropped initially and then pulled back. We dropped again and another pull back. So I'm expecting right now that we this is the labeling. We have completed wave 4 already and wave 1 and 2 is already completed. So we are expecting a sharper move downward, some another correction and another probably subdivisible wave downward. Or that subdivisible wave can actually hacker as well as here. So we can actually see 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. That would be wave 3 of wave 5 and then we'll see a, some sort of correction and a further division further downward. So I'm expecting at least two weeks of bearish price action. This is a high confidence trading setup. This is, I'll repeat that, this is a high confidence trading set setup. That's why I'm discussing crude oil in the very first part of the video. So I'm expecting uh, crude oil to be bearish. I know that uh, we are going to see some uh, labeling in uh, stock market so you'll see we might not see exactly the same rate but we need to understand that stock market has been fallen for almost a week and a half and we haven't seen crude oil falling that much in fact it was going up at that time so right now the market is going to be a little late and we are going to see that reaction let's have a look at gold what's happening with gold right now and uh, in my previous analysis I have forecasted that you're we expecting a pullback right over here so what happened with that pullback? That pullback is still expected to go. Only problem here is that we are expecting a larger time frame, uh, another larger degree of correction. So we are expecting the pullback to continue right over here, but I'm still expecting it as to be that the correction is going to take price all the way right over here. Uh, this is actually matching with the I was matching gold prices uh, with the historical data, and that pattern from uh, historical analysis is giving us indication that we're expecting a pullback down right over here that is the reason you guys can look at the correction this one right over here and this one they do not agree with that at all at, each, at all it's, uh, 
you can see this is completely does not look like part of the previous wave if you are an analytician and you want to stick to with the okay we can see one two three four and five that's that works for me too point here is that we have completed the impulsive wave downward either here or either here and I'm expecting that we shall actually continue the question is how are we going to do, do right over here so this is my labeling let me go quickly and uh, do the labeling for if I can find the pattern chart right over here ABC so we're expecting it to continue uh, to finish early but it's gonna take us time this is wave A wave B is yet not done and I'm expecting that we're gonna see something like this wave C so wave B is yet not done and that's where that's where we comes that we went sharply up and then we have seen a correction it has taken a little more time and that's the reason behind it so what's expecting right now let me see what happening there are a couple of possibilities and we'll discuss both of them there is a possibility that we can actually continue uh, let me go for 15 minutes chart and if we will see if we can identify some patterns and we can work with that auto let's go for auto okay the easiest pattern that we can actually see from over here is this one an a, a b and a c right over here so this is quite a possibility and the question here is that when prices go up or right over here it is going to be temporary and then we are expecting another leg downward so that would actually be completing our b wave right over here so i'm considering this is the first wave uh, five wave structure three wave structure another structure right from move downward that would actually complete wave b and i'm completing this considering correction as some sort of you know double three structure it's not very clear uh, however you want to take it you can consider it as a w x and y up to you but i'm considering it as a three wave structure i'm not considering it anything else a lot of people can uh, I'm, I'm understand that i've read I will get this comment time and again and I'll have to repeat it a lot. I have studied Elliott Wave analysis completely inside and out. I've spent last five, six, seven years in studying Elliott Wave analysis. I was very, very strict. I was used to use all the uh, the, uh, the generic properties of Elliott Wave analysis, different uh, trend lines, um, channels, and uh, Fibonacci analysis. I'm well aware of it. I just not choose uh, to be following that strictly anymore. I'm a bit loose in my application. I do try to follow the basic rules of Elliott wave analysis. So here it is right now. So I'm expecting this to be a wave A and this whole pattern to be wave B. Within wave B, I'm expecting that this is probably the uh, double, the center part of the wave B and then we'll see another leg downward and then we are to see prices going upward somewhere in this range possibly, somewhere in this range right over here. So a lot has to occur and I wanted to post this analysis with you guys so you guys actually can say more. In case the things change, I will try to present my analysis on YouTube. Okay, in case something different happens and I see an alternate labeling coming out, in that case I would actually uh, try to uh, provide a better analysis. Okay, let's have a look at NASDAQ. The big question here is, um, two, I think two and a half weeks ago when I gave an analysis of NASDAQ, uh, that we are expected to, be, to see NASDAQ going down and um, you know a lot of people didn't like it actually but stock market doesn't listen markets never listen to either me or you or anybody it is just simply the reading of the market and th that's exactly has gone as we planned we have seen sharper move downward uh, right over here which is pretty amazing so the question here is what is expected First of all, I already told you guys that I'm bearish on the U.S. stock market. I'm b bearish on world indices. Apart from Chinese indices, they are acting in a completely different way. Um, and I'm bearish on NASDAQ. I'm bearish on FTSE. I'm bearish on Nifty. I'm bearish on Dow Jones and S&P 500. I'm bearish on DAX as well. So in today's... Here, let's have a look. This is the daily chart. And let's have a look at hourly time frame some of you guys probably are already are looking at a five wave structure and you are right this is a clearly subdivisible wave one we have seen wave two and we have seen a sharper wave right over here which fits in the uh, characteristics or properties of wave three and then we have seen a pullback and then we have seen another wave down right over here uh, there is a possibility we can see a little pull down right over here before we can actually go up i think right now that we have completed a five wave structure right over here now this structure has taken us quite a many days i think about eight to ten days 
so let's have a look right over here oh this is one day no 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 I don't want I mean I need to change the time frame of one day okay here it is so let's count from right from the start so we have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and eleven so almost two and a half weeks that would be so when the correction occurs that is going to be nasty that one that we are seeing in gold because gold almost completed like about eight eight days drop right from over here eight nine days drop a week and a half and then the correction that we are seeing is going to be nasty so I'm expecting that we are going to see a pullback in NASDAQ the generic outlook on the stock market is still bearish I haven't changed that outlook but if you want to change if you want to uh, take your position and you want to be shorting I think that the opportunity is going to come whether you want to see the completion of the structure that's a better way to go if you want to do an hourly time frame analysis this up to you but I can clearly say that I am I'm in favor of counting a 5 wave structure we have wave 1 which is further subdivisible wave which is the and then wave 3 is a sharper wave and then we have a pullback and a wave 5 so you can clearly see that a 5 wave structure is very close to the completion and a pullback if it takes back to the wave 4 we shall be coming in this territory uh, we can actually see something like this right over here which will be a flat correction and we'll get there the point here to remember is that the timing of the Nasdaq and, uh, and US dollar itself is a little changed so if you are used to the very strong correlation be aware of it because the timing of the markets uh, like the turn of the markets is not exactly uh, you know matching 100% to so be real although the generic look looks like that when the stock market is going down US dollar will be going up the, that's the generic look when we look out at a weekly time frame analysis but if you look at an hourly time frame analysis is going to be a little uh, more um, strange than you are normally used to in other words I'm expecting that a 5 week structure is very close to the completion and I'm expecting a pullback for let's we'll say next few days to come next few trading days to come let's have a look at the Dow Jones Dow Jones is exactly doing the same we can easily count a 5 wave structure right over here this is a wave, wave 1 which we can consider consider it as wave 1 smaller wave 1 wave 2 is right over here this is smaller larger wave 3 4 and 5 this is wave 1 is complete wave 2 of that same degree is complete we have seen single unique wave and that's wave 3 and this is wave 4 and this is wave 5 either wave 5 is complete or it's very very close to the completion and the next few days are going to be interesting people who missed the, the drop from the top are going to get another chance to uh, to join the trend I wanted to see this pullback before I wanted to uh, give away the analysis and that's why I waited for weekend to complete uh, the price movement downward you guys can go back and I was expecting uh, for the prices to turn back and um, I don't know people didn't like it but let's see once again please do understand once I pro provide the analysis of the markets things can go wrong and they will go wrong please do understand money management is very crucial part I myself had a trading setup involved in uh, uh, Forex market that did not go along I had money put in crude oil which exactly went on I had planned so it kind of leveled out you know it, it takes a lot of work before you can actually get the the trades right so please use money management take slow small pro small losses large profits that's why I've tried to give the longer swings I have already told you guys the crude oil is looking very confident to be bearish now we are looking crude oil to be very bearish so if you want to just put in small amount of money and let it ride for the next two weeks you will see that how easy it is to make the money for example like right, look at right over here okay intraday trader cannot trade this trade we constantly going up and down up and down the trend was clearly bearish but if you look at the intraday chart it is clearly up and down there's no way possible that you can actually forecast the intraday move unless there is the tool uh, which I'm working towards it is going to take a lot of time that, and it's called WD GAN angles uh, we'll discuss a little more about that we have discussed gold in NASDAQ and Dow Jones and S&P 500 okay FTSE let's have a look, quick look at FTSE if you guys uh, some of you guys are from India as well so we'll have a quick look at Nifty and DAX and then we can go to the stock market first of all 
we were expecting it to do bearish. We have clearly drawn the trend line was drawn before. We cl clearly seen coming prices on the bearish way. Uh, how many days have been passed? We can see almost uh, almost seven eight days have passed. Four six uh, five six seven days have passed, and the trend right now on hourly time frame is very very dodgy, very very dodgy. The reason is because we cannot. Um, at least I cannot uh, see this particular structure right over here. I cannot point my finger uh, whether this is an A and this is an a B and a C structure. In that case, we have uh, quite a stronger movement to go. It means uh, tomorrow will be bearish as well. It means that tomorrow is going to be bearish as well. If we need to see, in that case, we will call it as wave 1 and wave 2, wave 3, some movement, wave 4 and wave 5. And other possibility is I think that looks more more close to let me have a look at a, a 15 minute chart probably I guys can give you a better I can identify some patterns which uh, are not really uh, familiar with the normal algorithm analysis so let's have a quick look All right. I'm still cannot make anything off this structure because this one shall be a five wave structure. All right, this is not clearly a five wave structure. In that case, we can say that the correction ended right over here. All right, this is the best thing we can say that instead of, or we can say that the trunk it ended over here. In that case, it does not make sense. It's a very sharp correction. So I would say the correction ended right over here. Let's have a look at hourly time frame to see if we can actually get some clues. Okay, first of all, let's have a look on a daily time frame before we actually can go. I just in simple words, you want to know in simple the larger swing is bearish. Okay, the larger swing in next. Uh, couple of months in FTSE is clearly bearish there is nothing stopping with that regard we are only arguing by pullbacks I'm gonna wait on pullback uh, uh, on uh, on FTSE okay the charts is not the patterns are not clear I cannot give you a smaller time frame analysis at this moment uh, you can see that this is very choppy wave so we can consider it as a smaller wave one and we can consider it as a smaller wave two in that regard we have an impulsive correction impulsive and correction we should look looking further down but things do not go um, as electricians think that I can see that that this is an impulsive wave and a correction and then an, an impulsive and a correction and another impulsive and a correction and a larger move downward things labeling does not occur like that way I can see that the labeling coming in so I'll try to give you guys an indication the larger trend from that stop for next couple of months is bearish let's see where the small exactly patterns go okay nifty is presenting a very strange uh, price movement I was surprised when I saw the pullback couple of the things uh, are possible let's have a look at daily time frame okay Okay, give me a moment guys, let me um, compare that with the uh, Dow Jones. And I'm already aware of it that is Okay. I can see the pattern if you're wondering that, okay, why can't you see the pattern? I can see the pattern. I can see that we have dropped below the trend line and we have seen kind of an A, B and C pattern. I can I can see that. I just wanted to be sure. Okay. So Nifty is a little late. We can see that the turn that happened is a little late. It also is giving us an indication that the break that happened is also a little late. Okay. So good indication. Nifty is bearish. I just wanted to confirm. Let me close this. And we can now go back to the hourly time frame. Okay.
that's how many days we have been uh, one two three four five six seven eight nine okay let's have a look on a 15 minute chart I'm not sure whether it's clearly visible I want to confirm the patterns uh, this chart as you guys can see is not really a uh, good continuous chart right over here so we're expecting a sharper move downward okay now two things can happen we can expect a sharper move downward and this can become one and two a sharper move downward we would be wave three uh, some sort of correction wave four and wave five do expect to wave four to be in smaller in size and small uh, in terms of time so it's going to be very ugly looking pattern if that is the case another thing that is possible is that we we can this definitely consider it as wave one and two two and another wave one and two so both things are possible first thing is one two one two okay other thing is one two three four four and five okay so we are clearly right now seeing that nifty is a little late from turning down the top that means that the price movements are a little late too we have clearly seen the bearish uh, look that we are seeing in um, in u.s indices that means that we are in the right direction we have broken the trend line right over here this one too okay so i'm clearly bearish on nifty i'm expecting a stronger stronger sharper move towards the downside let's have a look at dax it has been really amazing the way dax have reacted these are the trend lines that were drawn at the time of analysis these are not they were not drawn b after the the price movement had completed okay so be in and be really aware of it so um, give me a moment let's have a look at hourly time frame i'm expecting some sort of Let's have a look at because I want to see if FTSE is uh, actually falling DAX as well. Okay, so new price scale, and I just want to confirm. Okay, okay. Well, I have to keep a clo close look on if, um, on FTSE. I'll try to update you guys as soon as I can find some better. But let's have a look at DAX. First of all, DAX have been bearish. We can definitely see that uh, we've enjoyed the the break from the top right over here. It's time to see some sort of correction right now. Okay, uh, small time frame labeling. Although a lot of you guys are probably looking at it as uh, we have one whole one right over here correction. And then this one, I think that the pullback that happened is not does not fit in with that analysis. That this whole price movement is wave one and two, and then we're expecting wave smaller wave one and two. No, it does not. I'm thinking that the the pattern that actually started from over here has ended right over here. This is my thinking, and I'm expecting that the pullback that we have seen, we're going to see some ugly price action coming in in uh, in DAX, and we're going to spend some few days in correction. So um, DAX was a little early uh, to drop and we are seeing that the correction is coming in. I'm going to right now wait for the correction to complete to join into the bearish. I am expecting that this pullback is uh, this structure is almost complete and we shall be continuing some structure something like this. Uh, we can definitely go something like this and come and do this come down and then go up. Okay. So we look at the uh, the DAX to complete the corrective structure. That corrective structure is going to take a few days to complete. It's going to be a little messy. Uh, from our experience in gold and in euro, we can say that the corrections are not easy to deal with. Uh, let's have a look at um, the forex market and see where the uh, forex market is heading. Let's have a look at euro right now. In, in within the euro, I told you guys that you're expecting a couple of things, and we were really uh, price expecting the prices to go right over here a lot of people who were bearish got surprised from the pull up right over here however today did not go as planned I was expecting 
and that we are going to continue this price behavior right over here that did not go as planned now uh, that gives me an indication that there is a huge huge possibility that we are completing a larger degree of the correction it means i'm expecting that wave and we ended a a ended over here and there is a good possibility that wave a actually ended right over here it does not look like a, a clear pattern from earlier wave analysis term but we can definitely consider it as a w and an x and a y right over here to so three wave structure in that case that gives us that b did not complete right over here too so in because this price action shall actually if this was an impulsive a corrective move shall actually have posted the price because we are looking at hourly time frame what is stopping the the price action to go all the way up or over here because we have seen quite a a flat com uh, correction completed right over here a and then wave b itself is a correction which is the flat per pattern and then wave c so we have seen a two degrees of uh, wave completion what is stopping for the market to go all the way over here why did not we see an action something like over here so it giving me indication that market is expecting some sort of resistance right over here there's a good possibility if this is the resistance occurring in that case we can see that this is the first leg a second leg of the correction and the third leg of the correction all right so that would be completing our a right over here this would be completing our b right over here we shall expect a new low actually in this regard and then we are expecting a 5 f structure which will actually continue for good four or five days all right so i'm expecting a pullback now within the structure we can see that this structure is complete this pullback is complete we definitely can see a new uh, high beyond in this area and I'm expecting if this is the case then we have if you are completing something like this tomorrow shall be bearish day and then from there we can we can see that a lot of support is going to come handy and then we are going to see once this structure is complete we are going to see price action going upward so a lot of noise is expected in in euro uh, let, I will have to have to look at these labeling that's inside I have deleted that so I hope that is making a little more sense wave a right over here wave b right over here and a sharper move upward let's have a look on a, a four hourly time frame so we can actually make sense of uh, what to expect so once do we do that i'm expecting the larger price movement should actually continue something like that so we have an uh, impulsive price action and we have seen a larger correction that will be completing in this regard let's have a look at british pound so british pound has been uh, once again a British pound did not go along with euro today we have seen completely different sort of uh, labeling it looks like every market was moving in their own direction but I think they are all competing the corrections within the corrections right now let's have a look what's expected so let's say if we can say that the euro within that this was not a in that case we can say okay this is a okay let's have let's bring our labeling right over here that this is wave a structure right over here in that case what is this we can consider this as first part of the correction and we can see uh, that the price is going to go up right over here and that will complete the first wave of the correction uh, right over here which is w and x and a y right over here okay let me delete that structure in that case more noise is to be expected within uh, british pound okay and once that is complete uh, we have to look some something like this okay so that will be a three wave structure a three wave structure and then we are looking for a five wave structure uh, the point that I'm making right now within the three wave structure that we are seeing we have seen kind of a double it, this is the first part of the three wave structure we have seen a correction another part of the three wave structure so similarly I'm expecting we have completed probably let's say if this is a in that regard price is gone up so this should be it okay this is a possibility we can definitely make this as the second part of the correction or let's say if the correction ended over here for the first part of the correction second part of the correction ended right over here and then we should actually carry upward uh, for British pound okay let's have a look at Canadian dollar and uh, let's see what's happening you guys agree a three wave structure you guys can see it 
three wave structure right over here first leg correction give me a moment first wave correction second wave that completes our wave and then we have wave B right over here uh, this is the first part of the wave B we have seen correction price has gone up and we are going to probably see a lot of noise and going up that will complete wave B okay so basically we're talking W X Y we are calling this as A of a larger correction W X Y we are calling it as B of a larger correction after wave B is complete we are to expect something like this okay let's have a look at Japanese gen all right That's the labeling for wave um, A, B, C in Japanese Gen. I'm still bearish on Japanese Gen wave A, wave B, wave C. A lot of people are going to look at it and say, how idiot is that? It's a lot of like, we are seeing something like this. We can definitely call it as wave 1 and 2, wave 3 and wave 4 probably and wave 5 and then a pullback. But because that pullback is going to come all the way straight, the definition, if I am right and my labeling is right right over here, you guys are going to look that we are going to see few days of regular price movement something like this something something similar to like this now if you look at this price structure and we see a similar behavior coming downward how come this price movement is matching with this one right over here and we are calling this one as correction and this one as impulsive wave all right so that's why i'm expecting that although wave a is very short and we have spent quite a bit of time in wave b and wave c is going to be very large it does happen uh, that we can see some sort of something some behavior like this in expanded flares which are actually a little more weirder than the book action and uh, then the book presents okay this is the analysis for uh, Japanese yen New Zealand dollars let's have a look at New Zealand dollar what New Zealand dollar is doing um, once again we can call it as a right completed right over here okay uh, starting from over here we can see a price going up which is W an X and a Y that's our wave wave structure we have seen W and X another Y right over here that would become wave B, wave B and then we would make wave C right over here so we are expecting few days of once this pattern is completed we are definitely expecting some sort of rally going up for that would actually stay maybe four to five days and we're gonna see good price action going up for slow and steady all the way up over there let's have a look at US dollar itself against different currencies and uh, I'm expecting that we are going to see a new high in US dollar itself maybe um, in tomorrow and once that pattern that actually started from over here is complete let me bring over here just let's just leave it like over here okay and we'll, we'll fight about the the labeling later A um, couple of, uh, I do understand how, uh, I hope that this completes the analysis section. If some of you guys are interested in, um, in knowing about me, I can present it definitely right over here. If you want to switch off, then go ahead and switch off. Um, this completes the, I'm not going to discuss anymore right over here. So um, I have a, my name is Shaheen. You guys are well aware of it. I've been running this channel for a good while. I started studying the markets uh, way back when I was in England. Right now, um, I migrated from Canada to, I mean, from uh, Britain to Canada right over here. Originally, I'm from I'm Pakistan. I, I love being in, uh, you know, going through the world, going around the world and seeing all these cultures. And it's really uh, amazing how um, visiting one place from other place, you, it opens your uh, world and you can actually think wider that's what exactly has happened I have a master's degree in software engineering uh, from Bradford University I have a bachelor's degree in computer science from Pakistan after completing my bachelor I went to uh, Britain I did my master's degree and after doing my master's degree in computer science uh, software engineering exactly from Bradford University uh, 
West Yorkshire, okay? Yeah, that's I still remember the name of the, the county. West Yorkshire, next to Leeds. So it, it was a good time. After doing my degree in it, um, I could not continue a uh, job as a, as a software engineer over there. Uh, and uh, the reason because they were not, the immigration was r really a hot issue in UK on those days. And I decided to immigrate uh, to Canada based on that. I definitely fell in love with the stock market, uh, with forex market. Initially, I fell in love with uh, trading gold and silver. And my first, uh, mm, the first thing that I learned about the market was pretty basic uh, technical analysis, trend lines, and uh, support and resistance. Uh, after that, I spent a lot of time in on Japanese candlestick patterns. I studied all of them. It was pretty hot at that time, a hot topic at that time. So I learned about Japanese candlestick patterns and after studying that uh, along with that I was also studying Elliott wave analysis so uh, I was uh, I was following Elliott wave analysis to its core every single thing you know every single uh, every single property and characteristic of whoever how I was not getting where I wanted to go reason I kept studying more and um, uh, then I found about WD can I found about market cycles uh, I read banner itself I read about the box theory which was uh, a trend following system um, I studied m the regular technical analysis that involved all sorts of technical indicator RSI moving averages um, Bollinger bands and all sort of different combination of moving averages you know when you are starting new you, you kind of every single uh, every single signal is is like the the trade of the century right um, and then as I said I fell in love with with GAN. Th the problem is that his is a uh, accuracy that is legendary we can still read about it even is so much legendary that a lot of people don't actually believe that GAN was able to achieve something like that now studying GAN is a huge huge problem it's not something that you go open a book and then you and a book and you read four or five books and then you have done no you see again is a is someone who demanded really really strong work ethic uh, he has left different clues a lot of different people have spent their lives in study again I'm still following studying again I believe that uh, I'm getting it so you'll know when I've got it you'll see the content changed that's it if you wanted to uh, know about it uh, when I'm making these videos uh, the point of all this introduction is that whenever I'm making these videos about analysis I do my best to present um, and to use all the knowledge that I have gained over the period of time last five six years and then to use it to make an analysis and you know um, once again even uh, with all the things we I'm still um, I'm human being we can make mistakes you know analysis could be wrong it could be wrong that our degree of the wave that we are looking at Elliott wave analysis could be wrong like we have already seen in the matter of uh, euro and uh, forex market and gold itself our analysis I still believe that we are going to see that pullback that we are expecting the US pull dollar pullback right over here uh, and things are still looking in that direction because we have seen quite a many days passed and we have not moved uh, away from the uh, the distribution area so this is another thing so do understand mm, if analysis was that easy everybody would be a billionaire who would do the analysis right so please do understand use money management rules um, and do understand that I'll do my best to provide the analysis wish you good luck with your trading have a good one and bye bye